no salt at all. This is just the same density of the water everywhere. This one. And then here, yeah, you can see now that the whole thing is moving. Okay, so this. And then barely. And it will be about maybe uh, 100 feet long, something like that. And that will be only next to the shore. It's not going to be in the middle of the lake. It's, it's kind of tight a little bit. I thought you just wanted... I don't know what that person is. Uh, how does that tie in? And if it is tie in at all to anybody, to the biblical story of someone walking on water, I don't know. But all I'm pointing out is that this ice was there and someone could have walked on it. This line that goes up and down is the temperature, the past temperature. Okay. So you can see 2,600 years ago, and this is approximately during the time that we are talking about. I feel that my job as a natural scientist is to tell the society at large what I think about or what I think could have happened in particular situations. What believers or non-believers do with this information is kind of up to them. Let me see. Let me just see that. Thank you. Yeah. It was like, it goes all the way through. You know, it doesn't change my faith any. I mean, there's a lot of different scientific uh, theories, and but if you're a person of faith, I think that you, uh, you know, you consider that, and I don't want to pay any disrespect to the, to the science community, but uh, I don't think they have an explanation for everything, and I think it's interesting that they would go to this length to try to uh, to explain this uh, miracle of walking on the water. We're very respectful. We're intrigued. Um, but we're also skeptical of those findings 